What is going on, my YouTube friends? No, my Patreon friends. How we living tonight? I'm doing alright, man. We're having a, a rainy day here, and it definitely feels like a rainy day. But somehow, I came in here and I pressed record, and I immediately got a smile on my face. And actually, kind of feels nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, my friend Kylie reached out uh, on a PayPal request, and I appreciate you um, for a Matt Corby request. Trick of the light live on the Resolution tour. Um, so a i appreciate the request i appreciate you coming finding me um but i sent you a message too like you sent me more than enough so if you want to send me another mess like another request please feel free because you sent you sent me more than enough i really i really appreciate it um and i also appreciated an excuse to watch the matt corby so um i heard the first note as i clicked on this and tried to pause it i heard the first note and i'm like already <laughs> i'm just i'm excited let me pull this up uh oh whoa, whoa, that's all out of the place Like that one note alone, it's all it takes. Somewhere out of the ashes, I'm falling to you, and I know. And I know. Oh, deep down in. Like that go it's like so subtle but yet dramatic still i want to go through the whole thing again because the guitar is cool too oh deep down in the end i always i let you go really interesting guitar tone so let's start at the top so the strat i love the pink strat like, come on, I got, it's basically pink. The orange throws it off. I love the pink strap. Um, the sustain that he's getting out of it is really cool too. And I think so, for my guitar players out there, I think he's using a fuzz pedal as opposed to like a distortion pedal, like a screamer or something. Like, I think he's using a fuzz. And I think he's got his wah pedal half cocked too. So there's like this, like the Boston guitar tone or like, there, there's all kinds of examples of it where basically you take a, like a 1K peak and you take your EQ and you, you point up to it and it kind of gets this like kind of boxy sound but it makes all your leads cut really nice. And you could do that by ha taking your wah pedal, clicking it on and finding the kind of sweet spot where it sings and just leaving the pedal there. Like you don't touch the pedal anymore. And it kind of sounds like he's got something like that going on. And I like it because it almost sounds like it's got like a wah 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 to it but he's not giving it enough to actually do the wah effect. And I like that. I like that. Very intentional feeling, that's what I like about it. Man, but then my father pulls the trigger and I, like it's it's almost got like a cadence, like a flow to it. Um, but I don't think it's quite staccato. And it's just like it's really distinct syllables making up the phrasing. I like that, man. I like that. Was that a chorus? Is that the chorus section? Second part of the verse. You hear how he comes out of that head voice there too? Like here, let me catch this, let me catch this. Something like that, like come on man, come on. And I think he's singing quieter than I am still too. Flute too? I don't know what 
kind of chords he's playing, so I'm not going to try to play back on guitar because the, the points won't land. But having that boom, 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 while he's singing these, like, like the, the, the guitar pattern is so contradictory to what the vocal pattern is. The vocal pattern is kind of squared up and kind of smooth, and the guitar is like really like swung. It's like up picked almost. I think he's finger picking it, but it's like an up pick timing, right? And I just don't know how like you disassociate those two parts of your, <laughs> your brain to be able to do that. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> Like, none of that, like, it fits, obviously, but none of them, like, l like, complement each other from, like, uh, making it easier is what I'm trying to get at. Like, come on, man, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah, it is, it is a wah pedal. He's got his foot on it. He's got his foot on it. For sure, that's a wah pedal. Side of my soul was paved with gold. Is that what he said there? Hold on. Of my soul, I forgot the inside of my soul was paved with gold. Oh, neat. No way. Oh, I was just going to say the ad libby vocal and that and the guitar back and forth was cool. And then doing them at, like in unison or like in. Uh, yeah, unison melody. Like, come on, man. That was wild. That was wild. I love when guitar players do that. That's some of my favorite guitar playing. Subtle fries, he pulls off the microphone too. I'm not gonna sing the note back because he's gonna make me look like a fool. But this drummer is a killer too, man. Like the, the whole section is just so tasty. So tasty. The way he let that fall off and that drummer kept that just like very subtle drum fill going. Come on, man. <laughs> So it's got that like like that's that wah pedal it's an expression of it right so as you lean into it like i don't know how it works the band of the eq all pulls open as well it's a weird interesting sound but super popular Too. 
Last Vibrato too. Wow! Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's get me hype. <laughs> No way, no way, man, no way, man. I like, okay, I talk about vulnerability a lot, right? So when you're like a songwriter, like imagine going into a room with your whole band and be like, hey, we're gonna do this break and I'm gonna start beatboxing. <laughs> I don't know enough about Matt Corby. I know, I know next to nothing about Matt Corby, but if it was me and my band, they would look at me sideways so quickly and it would take me forever to like commit to doing the actual thing, man. And like he's rehearsed proficient and willing to do it in front of an audience. Good for him, bro. Good for you, Matt. Let's go. Let's go. Is it a loop or something? It is. Okay, so he's got his bare dynamic microphone that he's singing into. He's got a Sennheiser one on like a, uh, basically like an XY addition for a mic stand, right? Um, and then so the the, the bare dynamic would be like a, the main vocal mic, the like whatever, right? And then this one must go into whatever his, his pedal is or his processing that does the looping and everything, right? So now we're gonna go into the Sennheiser mic. Dope, man, dope setup. I was wondering what that was there for. Come on now. <laughs> Makes me want to like ad lib. Boss pedals, I think. Ah, oh, man, I don't even want to get into that part. That doesn't matter. This is wild. This is wild. This is so cool. This sounds like a whole band playing, with like people ad libbing, like the whole, like the whole section, man. The whole section. And what's really cool, man. Like I kind of want to shut this out a little bit, like, because I think, I think this gets missed. Like if you don't do this kind of thing, and I don't. I don't. I've been around a little bit of it, but I don't. I can't figure it out. That's the thing. I can't do a take in one go and be comfortable with it enough to have it relay a hundred times in my section because I'm gonna hear one section be flat, I'm gonna hear that I missed a high, like you know what I mean? There's all these little things that like, and maybe if I practice, maybe all the different things, but like it's just, it's such a moment, it's such a, a risk for someone to take, you know what I mean? Cause like you could go back and just redo a, like a four bar section, but it's like now you're stretching the whole thing out, right? You're risking losing the impact that you're driving, man, like he's killing this. He's killing this. Love that high note. Hard 
drop off the in like a minute. I gotta turn it up. I gotta mute up my microphone, man. We're gonna, we're gonna rock out. We're gonna rock out. I gotta, I gotta get some headbanging out or something. Fire, man. That was one of the hardest drops I've seen, like, in as long as I can remember, man. Coming out of that, coming out of the loop section with the beatbox and everything into the full band jam. The flute, like, come on. Come on. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know, man. This is what I'm saying. Like, I have no clue. I have no clue. This is so much fun. I love what you all send me, man, every single time. This is such a great request. Thank you so much. Please send me another one. But I don't want to say pro bono because you, you, you paid enough for two. So send me another one. I'm looking forward to it already. My friends, if you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comments down below. Patreon links in the description box. PayPal links in the description box. Thank you so much for cheering me up tonight. I appreciate you all. We'll see you soon.